so that I could personally witness what's going on in the lower levels of Dulce so that I could tell people. And for years I've held back because it was just absolutely too awful to tell anyone. And I didn't know how people would react. And also I was afraid that my life might be put in danger by spilling the beans on what I saw. But I, I'm, I'm going to tell it here today. And for those of you uh, that are, are have a weak stomach, uh, I suggest you, you stop listening to it or if you get if you can't deal with fright very well, maybe you need to not listen to the rest of this, okay? I'm trying to think for your best interest. But we get there to Dulce and we approach an area where small crafts are coming in. There's lots of them. It's like a big hangar. And out of each craft, I, would, I could see that they would bring out one, sometimes two, I don't know if they were three or not. It could have been three, maybe, uh, humans. And they put them in uh, like a, a little buggies that was on like a rail track. Uh, and, and they set the people up in that. Now, the overseers operating the system, shockingly to me, were human or they appeared to be human. And what shocked me even more was these tall Nordic, blonde haired, blue eyed men operating this system were wearing uniforms with the swastika on the, uh, on the shoulders, uh, an emblem yeah. and insignia of the swastika. Now, Think about this and think about World War II and, and what all was going on there and the association of this might indicate who was controlling Hitler and what was really behind all that. Yeah, yeah. in uh, Henry Crane's book as well, he did mention that different groups of humans worship different reptilian gods unwittingly and that sometimes the reptilian gods would fight each other and they would yeah. get the humans to try and wipe out the other group. Yes. In this in this case, I'm drawing comparison. He draws comparison to uh, Hitler and the Jews. Mm -hmm. That's where his intense hatred for the Jews came from. It was influenced by these reptilians. But anyway, <laughs> uh, if you could just carry on. Well, we we drew close to where these uh, humans overseers were working. These overseers uh, could not see me, nor the uh, entity that had t was guiding me and taken taking me there. We were, to me, ethereal. We were not in solid form where they could see us, but these workers, these Nordic people, were solid material. The, the uh, humans they brought in, they put in these little uh, uh, train cars, uh, were all sitting there like zombies, like they were stunned. And one of the things that bothered me in the, in the first time I saw this with Barbara under hypnosis, it really wrecked me emotionally. And I saw a young woman of maybe 28 to 30 years old, a very pretty, attractive brunette lady. And she had a little boy with her about eight, seven or eight years old. And he was sitting there with her. Both of them had been brought in. And I panicked and I knew that something bad w was about to happen to them. And I ran to wake them up. And I got right in their face. And, and I was like yelling to wake up, wake up. And they were not even aware I was there. And the Nordic overseers couldn't have seen or hear me either. So I, I was protected in in that sense some way they had me uh concealed where nothing was aware that i that we were there but this woman uh, they rolled on and, and she went on down the conveyor belt and so then we moved to a different area and the the uh person that was taking me or the entity that was taking me stopped and said listen and i stopped and we listen and in the background you could hear kind of like a very dull uh ripping kind of noise and i i remember beginning to feel panicky and i didn't want to go see what was making that awful noise 
and the the uh, entity that was taking me insisted and said you must see it you must see it and so i looked and what i saw were human torsos hanging on big meat hooks and they hooked bone to hooks in the back of the body and they were ripping the bones out of out of the human bodies to fillet it and who who was doing this the nordics these now, overseers do you remember watching extra Ex extraordinary deceiving do you remember never that? that no i never heard of it no no we we definitely watched this it was um uh, remember we spoke about the guy waking up in his clone um you said it was a pretty good documentary oh yeah yeah i yeah. do remember now um oh. do you remember what he was saying that he was walking past one of these nordics and he said it was like their face just kind of shifted briefly into a reptilian face and then shift back it was like a hologram that was put over the face right okay now i i remember now thank you yes um is it possible that this might have been an illusion it's it's possible yeah when you're when you're dealing with this phenomenon i don't I, anything is possible you know royce uh sorry uh, continue it's 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 quite all right uh the next phase of dulcie that i saw was we went to a large room that was extremely cold and inside this room were boxes that were like uh, a little small uh, metal caskets only they weren't caskets they were more like coolers and uh they were bringing in uh uh body human body parts arms legs torsos uh, all, all kinds of of uh, body parts and packing them into these crates and then they were there was a lot of them it was a big operation and i saw i'm gonna say probably six different nordics working on six different boxes at one time if i recall correctly and they were packing uh all this all this in and then they were putting the the boxes once they're full on a like a uh conveyor belt roller and it reminded me of present day uh uh where your luggage comes in uh, at an airport on those rollers uh it was like rolling on that and it rolled into an area where there were a lot of craft uh waiting and they were loading them these crafts crafts uh where they were taking them uh in my opinion i assume they were taking them out to colonies in in uh in space somewhere or colonies here on the our own planet that we're not aware of wow it's a meat processing plant we've touched on it briefly before but yes but I, I i never really went into detail like i just have now <laughs> and i that's all i saw on that and i don't ever really want to see any more 